Uh, I'm Patrick Byrne, I'm the Interim Chair of Birmingham Soho Alternative Care Board. So this is the highlights of our March board meeting that took place very recently, where there were lots of key items that we covered. Firstly, as you know, with this industrial action, with junior doctors, we're doing our best as a system to try and minimise the impact of the strike, uh, and also, again, thanking staff who are, and particularly those staff who have actually come out of either, if not retirement, from their normal day jobs to support the work. Um, as well. We had an interesting conversation around long-term conditions. This is a big issue for us in our patch. People suffer from uh, diabetes, colon heart disease as well and we are developing a strategy to really look at the prevention side of things, the diagnostic and prevention and more importantly to get the patient voice to play an uh, important role around that. We recognise that we have the new ways of delivering services and I was very lucky very recently I met Tony Kelly who is a diabetes champion, and he's been effective in working in Birmingham and Sunny Hall, as well as um, nationally, internationally, sharing the experiences of, of community engagement. And if we could replicate more community advocates like Tony, that will work in alongside clinicians, we can actually get and really deliver this agenda. Performance is always a big issue, a major item on our agenda, and actually as a system we're doing reasonably well. Our council weights are coming down, um, our electives are coming down, but we also recognise that we've got more work to do, especially around um, HDHD, and also we have a, still a problem with our waiting list around people who've been diagnosed with learning disabilities and autism as well. On some good news actually, we've been selected as one of the three intercurrent care boards across the country to work with Sir Michael Marmot and Bernardo's in developing our work around health and health around children and young people. We'll be looking at mental health, we'll be looking at um, oral health, we'll be looking also at school readiness. And it's really fantastic that we have this opportunity to learn, to really be effective, because actually Birmingham and Solihull is the youngest population in the country based on latest data. But we've got the biggest challenges being most deprived in parts of the country as well. So this is fantastic news, but we've got a lot of work to do. Watch out for more updates on our board and our activities as Birmingham and Solihull ICB.